Hey y'all, it's Dawn's Press-Ons, and today we're going to do a beautiful set of tropical beachy nails. We've got this white, glassy, uh, milky gel polish that we're going to use from Young Nails, and we've got this grapefruit salmon color, super tropical and beautiful. Look at this color. So perfect. And then we've got this aquamarine giving off all the beautiful uh, Miami or whatever beach vibes, so pretty. These come together, let me tell you. Then we've got this um, iridescent kind of like a top that we can put over the top of it. Not sure if we're gonna use this or not, we'll just kind of see. All right, we're gonna start out by painting two nails with this aquamarine color. And we're gonna do two coats on everything. So this is just the first coat. Let's just get some color down evenly over it. And you know when you're painting a press-on nail, you don't go straight from the back forward or begin at the cuticle to the free edge like you would if you were painting a human. You kind of begin a little bit in the middle and go towards one end and then flip the nail around and go the other way. All right, now we're gonna put this grapefruit color on two nails. Again, using the same technique where we paint from one way and then from the other way. That keeps any of that polish from slipping around to the underside of the nail. Now, if you do get any polish on the underside of your nail, not a problem. Just get a cleanup brush with some acetone or some alcohol on it, preferably a little alcohol, and just wipe it right off before you cure it. Here we go with that second aquamarine nail. Just making sure we get it nice and even. We don't lose any spots. And the second grapefruit nail or... Nope, looks like we're going to do the white nail now. Let's do that beautiful white. I'll get my hand out and the bottle brush out of the way in just a minute. Oh, look, I'm even out of frame. Imagine that. Here we go. Look at how pretty that is. And then the last grapefruit nail. Oh. Looks like she touched the blue nail. So we're gonna uh, touch it up. Now let's do the last grapefruit nail. This is such a classic color combination. These colors pair so well together. And you could really stop right here, cure this, and call it a day. It's just really pretty. So we're curing that for a full cure, 60 seconds. Come out of the lamp, and let's do them all again. And then we also coated them with matte top coat, fully cured that. And now we're giving them a wipe with a lint-free wipe and some alcohol to prime them and get them ready for stamping. We're going to do some chrome stamping. So these nails are getting fancy, y'all. We're beach and we're chrome. So this is the stamping plate we're going to use. We're going to pick up these footprints, like the footprints in the sand there. And... Um, we did that with some sticky stamping polish, and then we used uh, some chrome on a stamping head and went right over the top of that. It didn't get filmed well, so I just cut that part out. I'll show you the same technique again. So now for the blue, we're going to use this black stamping polish 001 from Clear Jelly Stamper. And we're picking up these palm trees. I love the look of palm trees in black on a nail. And we're going to kind of stamp these. Uh-oh, did I save it? Nope, had to redo that one. Okay, so now let's stamp these kind of off to the side. There we go. Turn it around so it looks the right way. And look at that. Those palm trees are beautiful. Now we need to get a sunshine over there in that upper left corner. And I think I want that sun that has the cloud going through it. It's a pretty classic stamping image. A lot of different stamping plates will have that. And I found one on my plate. So I'm just gonna pick it up. I gotta get all the things that were on there off of there. 
that came up with it because I only want that sunshine with the cloud to be stamped down. And let me just angle and put it right where I want it. There it is. And look at that. Perfect. I love it. All right, what do we want to do next? A different stamping plate. We're going to uh, do this beautiful, uh, like, it's just a classic, like, sea image, seashells and stuff. We're doing it in a white sticky stamping polish. Clean my stamper off real quick and pick it up. And then let's stamp it on this nail. There we go. I stamped it. Now, you see that? That's the stamper head that I have all this gold chrome on. Just rub it on a nice even layer and then go over your sticky stamping polish with it and look. Beautiful. Now we've got chrome stamping. It's just amazing. Look at that over there. Ah, so pretty. Now we're going to pick up some of these. Uh, oh, I want this bird. That's what it is. I think it's this bird here. working a little bit out of frame sorry y'all so there he is that's the outline of a bird and then I'm going to use this other one and it's more of a felt in bird so we're going to have these two seagulls going across my uh plate there or going across that one nail clean up everything off of there except for the one so see it picked up a whole bunch of stuff and I just want the one bird gotta get all mm -hmm. that stuff mm -hmm. off of there it'll transfer Mine, the sunshine, the other bird. Everybody's got to go. And there it is. But I got a little bit of something, something on that nail. So I'm going to take this uh, like disposable lipstick one that I have a little bit of acetone on. And I'm just going to clean off anywhere where there was po um, the stamping polish that I don't want. And because this is gel polish background, it's perfect. Now I'm going to go over those birds with the gold chrome um, stamping head that I have. So when you have a stamping head that dies, don't throw it away. If it gets a split or a tear or some a chunk in it, don't throw it away. Put some chrome on it and put it in your drawer and use it for chrome stamping. I have several like that. I, haven't, I probably have way too many, to be honest. And I'm using the uh, lipstick wand again to just clean up some chrome that uh, I got on the nails. I'm not even sure what happened, but just want to make sure that this is super tidy and clean. Typically, the chrome will only go on to the um, where you've put it. So on the sticky stamping polish. Oh, okay, we're adding a little bit of gem gel down so that we can put some gems on this nail. I want to put a little bit of uh, pearls and a couple of sparklies. And I end up working out a frame again. I know, y'all are shocked. So I'll show you the end result. There we go with the pearl. Let's put it on there. And that's pretty much all y'all get to see, because then I pull it too close to me and you can't see, but I do. And there's what I did. So we did uh, a large pearl with two stones off to the side and then two little baby pearls. Come on, get it in the picture. Here we go. Now you can see it. Super pretty. And then we did a pearl and a stone with the two birds. And then at that last nail, you saw there was just an image that had a lot of little beachy sayings. And I just picked that up with the straight black and it looked super cool. It really went nicely with the palm trees with them being the black color. Now I'm just coating with a uh, no white shiny top coat. Try not to get the, you can go over the top of gems. Now you don't want to go over the top of crystals. And the difference being gems are made typically of like um, resin. Uh, but crystals are, of course, not made of the resin. 
but you can go over the top of gems. Don't go over the top of crystals. You'll they'll, Crystals will lose their luster and it'll be just disastrous. And what a waste of the expensive crystals. But these are just gems. So you can go right over the top of them. And she's actually taking the brush here and going up against them. And what that does is it deposits just a little bit of that top coat right around the base of the gems. And it really helps cement them in. Not enough to pool, but just enough to give them a little touch of adhesive as it cures. So we're going to get all of these painted with the top coat. and then we'll get them in the lamp. Now, when you're going over the top of stamping, you wanna make sure your stamping polish had a chance to dry completely. Usually stamping polishes only take, you know, five to 15 seconds to dry, but sometimes they can take 30 seconds to a minute. You wanna make sure they're good and dry. Um, I mean, they're they're really just standard nail polish. The nail polishes, they're just a quick cure. So, and then here where we're going over the chrome stamp, the, the chrome that we did on top of the sticky stamping polish, you should be good to go. I still kind of use the floating technique where your brush isn't really touching your work. The um, top coat's kind of like falling off of your brush and you're guiding the top coat instead of brushing. See here I'm brushing. You can see the difference in the bristles. And then once I'm happy with my light line, I'll put all these in the lamp for a full 60 second cure. And this is what we have. Aren't these beautiful for vacation? Oh, I can't wait. This would be so perfect for a beach vacation. And it's spring break, y'all. This would be perfect for spring break nails. All right, you guys know the drill. As a brand new press on business, we appreciate each of you that see our videos and that push that like button. We need you for the like buttons and the comments and the subscriptions and the follows. And we appreciate when you do. Thank y'all for watching. See you next time.